All right, Ange, many public pools in central Indiana open for the summer on Memorial Day weekend, and the demand for private pools has increased because of the pandemic. That makes this the perfect time to make sure your children know potentially life-saving water safety tips. So joining me live from Chicago this morning is Lindsay Thayer, owner of Aquatots Swim School on Indy's north side. She's also a master water safety instructor, instructor that is. Good morning to you, and how are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. No problem. Fantastic. Let's start with what are some important water safety tips for parents to keep in mind? Absolutely. So the very most important thing for parents is to remember that constant supervision is always the first line of defense. Um, often child drownings are happening when an adult is present at the pool or when a family gathering is happening around a pool. Um, it's just imperative that we know who that supervisor is around the water and that they are free of all distractions, um, especially cell phones. That's an important Another one to know. <laughs> Lindsay, if you want to enroll your child in swimming lessons, this is one that, you know, probably stumps a lot of parents. What is the right age to begin and why is that age important? So at Aquatots, we start swim lessons as young as four months old. Wow. Um, the reason we do this is because we want to start practicing those safe submersions at a really early age, start adjusting those young children to the water, and teaching parents themselves as well how important it is to set boundaries around the water so children know what they're capable of doing and they're not overconfident but they learn to love the water and not have a fear of it. Of it. And kids ob often like to be in swim trunks and things like that, but at Aquatox, you guys do something a little different to prepare for emergencies. You actually have kids in to swim in their clothes. We do. So we're doing some really cool things this month for wa National Water Safety Month. <clears throat> we have the kids swimming in their summer clothes first. Uh, then they take another lesson in their winter clothes so they can feel the weight of what a winter jacket or winter boots feels like. Um, if they've been through it once during swim lessons, uh, they can keep themselves more calm and less, you know, panic free um, if an accident were to happen at a pool or a body of water and they know what to do confidently. That is very smart. You also offer several different levels of lessons. How long are these lessons and how many times a week should a child actually attend swim lessons? So we are a perpetual swim lesson program, which means you're going to start uh, based on your age and your skill level and you're going to progress and advance um, individually each child. So we recommend, you know, starting young, although any time is the right time to start. Participating in consistent formal swim lessons can reduce the rate of drowning by 88% in children between the ages of one and four. And so now is the time to get them in swim lessons. So now is the time to get them in swim, swim lessons. So as these uh, young tots and, and, and kids are starting to learn how to swim, is it also a good idea for the parents to get involved too and, and, and swim as well with them? Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, another tip is parents often, you know, think that the, the arm floaties and the, <clears throat> the puddle jumpers are, are the right way to go with their children. The best thing you can do is get in the water with them, take the safety devices on, supervise them and work with them so they can feel what, what it feels like to be in water without um, a false sense of security with a, with a water floaty or a flotation device. All right, Lindsay Thayer, owner of Aquatots, thank you so much for joining us with these important tips this morning. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And for more information, just go to fox59.com slash links.